Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I will show you how to subtract one piece of audio from another. So here we are with a piece of music and a sound effect at the start. Let's listen. And towards the end. Live from our studios on the Isle of Wight. There's some singing going on. Now, if you have the original music track, which I do, but not the elements like the singing and the sound effect at the start, there is a clever trick you can use to recover those elements. And so let me show you how it works. So first of all, you'll see here for FJF Music, I've got just the music bed on its own. Let's listen to the full mix. And the instrumental bit at the end. And the idea is I want to recover the singing and the sound effect at the start, but not the music bed. Well, you can do this if you've got the original track by inverting the phase. Let me show you how this works. First of all, over to the music, I am going to mute the left channel and copy just the right channel. So I'll use Command C, Control C of your PC, or of course you can do it the traditional way, edit, copy. Uh, and then we'll go over to this jingle and we'll mute out the left channel, just focus on the right. We'll delete everything in the right and we will edit, paste, like that. So now we've got just the instrumental track that we want to remove and we've got the original over on the left channel. Very important before we do the next step, we need to go into effects and invert the phase. So it essentially flips the waveform upside down. Now a funny thing with phase inversion is that when you combine two tracks together that are exactly the same uh, in length, in volume, in everything else, and you mix them together, the phase literally cancels out. So you'll see in just a moment what happens. It will be mind-blowing. So I've got the original music track with sound effect and vocals, and then the original music track on its own with an inverted phase. Now, to combine together and cancel out the music track, I simply go into Edit, Convert Sample Type, and I make sure that it's not stereo, it's mono. And by doing this, I'm summing to mono and I'm eliminating the music track. Watch this, click OK, boom, wow. That is not magic, that is real, that actually happened. And now we should be left with just the sound effect at the start. And we are a very clean sound effect at the start and just the clean acapella vocals. Live from our studios on the Isle of Wight. Free Jingle Friday. And that is not magic. That is simply using effects invert phase when you paste it on one channel and then sum both channels to mono. It's really good. Go and try it yourself and see how you get on.